All right, thank you so much. The time now is 8.01, and many people in Jackson still have little to no water pressure as the city continues to battle the after effects of the winter storm. 16 WAPT's Cecil Hannibal has more. I get emotional about it. Sometimes I cry because it's like our apartments didn't even warn us about the water. It just it just stopped working. Summer Williams says it's been a struggle living without water for 12 days, driving 30 minutes each day to get water from family. It's even harder because she's eight months pregnant. It, it scares me. It really does. It just I don't know. I'm probably going to even have to leave Jackson until everything gets situated and just go stay with my mom. And she's not alone. Many Jackson residents are living in a state of panic with little to no water pressure and still no definitive timeline on when the water will be restored. You know, people want to get to back to some sense of normalcy. Jackson City Councilman President Aaron Banks is at Forest Hill High School, one of seven water distribution sites for flushable water. According to city officials, his district of South Jackson and elevated parts of the city will likely take the longest to see full restoration, leaving many people hoping and praying water comes back soon, like Summer Williams. Because I don't know what I'm going to do once my child get here, because I'm going to have to, you know, Make sure the house is clean, make sure I can give my baby a bath, fix bottles and all that. It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's really a lot. Cecil Hannibal, 16 WAPT News.